Before we head back, there are a few talks. If Finn... If Finn is a father to either Nana, Lake, or Lana, they will talk at this point. Nana, how are you holding up? I'm fine, father. No need to worry about me. Your strong determination reminds me more Locke since each passing day, Nana. Father, you loved her so much, Lag. How could you let her go all by herself? To Isaac? Nana, I've asked you before not to bring that up. That's between your mother and I. But... You'll understand someday. Just wait till you're a little older. Hmm. Nana gets a much-needed speed plus five. We'll be right back. If you have a less return, return to Darna after it's seized... Lean, where are you? Bless! Lean, are you alright? I wish I could say so. Fortunately, someone on Liberation or rescued me. Forgive me, I... This is all my fault. I should have listened to you. Forget about it! I'm just glad you came back, Bless. I promise it won't happen again. And I promise to keep my mouth shut when I get angry. Don't ever leave me! Oh boy. And Lean joins. She doesn't have anything but... My skills! And at least she can dance magic dance. No, 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 no. And my parents are arguing in the background. Great. You're right back! Everyone's just full of talks today. First, Tinny. Um, sir? Hmm? Who are you? I'm Tinny, Arthur's younger sister. Ah, so you're Tinny. Yeah, I heard about you. Um, I need to apologize to you. No, don't worry about it. King Blue's your uncle, right? You didn't have to- you didn't have a choice. You'll forgive me, then? <laughs> of course. It's good to have you on our side. Wow, you're very understanding. Wish I could've met you sooner. Tina, I know you have family out here, and I don't expect you to fight them, okay? Thanks. Leaf, talk to your cousin. Sir Sleet, it's an honor to make your acquaintance. I'm the son of King Quan of Leinster. Prince Leaf, it's great to finally meet you. I'm glad to see you're not hurt. I lost both of my parents in the Battle of Bahara's surprise Thracian attack. Following that Leinster was seized by an Imperial Guard under Duke Bloom. Finn kept me out of harm's way. We sought shelter near my village and waited for the day to liberate the motherland. You'll see that in FE5. The timing felt right, so we rose up. However, we both took up arms around the same at the same time. We've all heard about King Bloom's bloody rule. I just wish we could have made it here sooner. No, sir. I take full responsibility for our failure. However, I have every intention of living up to my father's good name. He had earned the distinction that comes with being a knight of Nova. With all due respect, would you consider including us in your liberation effort? With what little I have to offer, I hope to assist the Grambles return to glory. Thank you, Prince Leaf. People often say our fathers are two good friends who shared identical fates. And your mother was my aunt. They both gave their lives while trying to help my father. Prince Leaf, I can't begin to express my sorrow to you. I'm very proud of my parents, sir, and I greatly admire your father for all he did. It's Emperor Alvis and King Trapman that I detest. I have exactly how I feel. I just wanted to respect our father's dying wishes and return peace to the land. Do join us, Prince Leaf. With all honor! Yes! Thelmud, talk to your sister. Is there your name by any chance, Nana? Yeah, and who are you? Yes, I found you! I'm Thelmud, your brother! Huh? Is this some kind of joke? Here, let me explain everything Levin told me. During the last war, all his kids fled to Isaac. Then our mother, Lachesis, brought you here in the Leinster just after you were born. If you're my brother, then where is she now? You mean our mother? She left me when I was starting to meet up with you and Isaac, but she never came back. I waited for her to come home ever since. Mother came for me, but I never saw her. Oh no! What could have happened to her? Well, first of all, he does. There's no place for anyone traveling alone. Oh no! Poor mother! Nana gets blood plus one. More to be said. We'll be right back. And now we get to seize. Seize, that's it. Well done, Sleese. Ulster's finally been liberated. Yeah, but it looks like King Bloom slipped off to Canote. Well, that's the way it goes sometimes, Sleese. This war isn't over, you know. We've only just gained a foothold of Thracia Peninsula. But we have the total support of the people. They're always so happy to see us. That's just to go show you how hard the Empire's rule has been on them. People are counting on you, Sleese. But I think the war's are still ahead of us. Yeah, maybe so. I'm surrounded with so much talent. Can't imagine anything else could be too great for us. Yeah, sky's the limit, Sleese. <laughs> Save. 
This finally concludes chapter 7. Oh man. The Thracian Peninsula has two very distinct faces. The northern half is an enormous fertile savanna, home to several small kingdoms. The south, however, is a barren wasteland lined with towering mountains and home to the Thracian Kingdom and their infamous Dragon Knights. With reckless valor, Thracia made repeated attempts to conquer the northern fertile land. However, each attempt met with opposition by Leinster's royal house and ended in defeat. After the massacre of Leinster's army in the Yeet Desert, Thracia's perse perseverance finally seemed to have paid off. However, a military force headed by Bloom of Frege quickly moved in and subdued the area. Thereafter, the Empire appointed the region as the Northern Kingdom of Thracia, under King Bloom. During the ten odd years that followed, not even the brazen King Travis dared challenge the Empire's military power. And thus a precarious balance persisted. The fall of the capital in Alistair to the Liberationary presented a new twist to the delicate balance of power in the region. Sleece's Liberation Army now controlled both Ulster and Munster Castle. After safely escaping to Connaught Castle, King Blue began to amass a military force. Meanwhile, Princess Ishtar, better known as the Goddess of Thunder, fortified Munster Castle's defenses in case of a Thracian attack. And just over the border at Mies, King Travin and his commanding officer, General Mykov, maintained an ominous silence. People had only one wish. Now it's Leinster's royal house to return to power. And thus another battle commenced. Chapter 8 The Dragon Knights of Thracia. That can out. Damn it! Those rebels have really gone too far this time. Vampa, I never imagined they'd pose a threat to the three of you. Forgive us, sir. We got the situation under control now. General Muhammad's squad have already reached Alster, and General Ovo's knights will soon advance on Leinster. We too shall go back in. All right, I'm counting on you. Now it's taking a trap and long so long right back up. We sent several requests for reinforcements, but he has yet to respond. Er, what's holding him back? I recommend keeping an eye on King Trabant, sir. They say he's not to be trusted. Hmm. Well, we'll handle the roaring with or without him. Vampa, Fetra, Ilyu, move out. This time, no survivors. Without fail. And return the Mage Sisters. And Bloom. Flag. At Manster. Seti! What do you think all this is to get Manster back? Either yeah, just all you can take King Bloom's rule. You mustn't lose hope. Sir Selyse's Liberation Army is just west of us. Go. Tell everyone it'll be a matter of time before they reach us. Believe me, freedom's just on the horizon. At Mies. Father, King Bloom has sent another request for backup. He claims the Empire has lost both Leinster and Ulster to the Rebels. That's the Gerd's boy, right? Bloom must be getting pretty old to let some kid walk all over him. Arya, don't worry about Bloom. Let the Empire Rebel already fight it out. I'll strike when they're both too tired to fight back. I knew it. You've been holding out all this time, haven't you, Father? You're damn straight! The pencil was finally with my grass and is exposing Leinster's knights in need. And that Bloom slipped in and stole right from under me. He's gonna pay with blood. Father, I know you must feel you've only been taken on Grandpa outright. Everything rests on the unification of the peninsula. The fertile lands of the north hold the key limiting poverty within our kingdom. Our Ayana ways have been often been likened to that of hyenas. Yet our mercenary work for foreign lands has meant the kingdom's survival. However, I've had enough. It's time we move up in this world. Our Ayana the rivalry before us will turn the fate of Thracia. Understood, Father. Back at Ulster. I don't know, Sleece. I've got a friendly feeling here. Is Leinster well covered? Well, there's definitely room for improvement. Does that guess you have some reinforcements? Yeah, I do. But I can bet you King Blue isn't wasting any time over Knoot. Since the Master of also requested your help, we need to move. Fast. Alright, we'll set out at once. Leaf, Finn, and Nana go are automatically deployed at Leinster. And we begin Chapter 8. Chapter 8 is a nice breather from Chapter 7. You got a oh, you are faced with a bit of heavy opposition right from the start. But once that goes, the rest is cake. Oh, 
I suppose we'll wait until next time for that for, to tackle that though. So this is Mage Knight 404 saying oh, through the desert. Thank God. See you later, guys.